We're fine. Hello, everyone. Wow, it is a very bright and beautiful sunny day here in Kentucky, and I'm loving it. Okay, sorry I'm in my car again, but I am off to Lexington to get my hair done, which is really fun and exciting. Um, actually, I don't know that I'm feeling fun and excited about it right now. I'm kind of more scared than anything, and also like still not totally sure <laughs> if I'm gonna do something like intense with it. I'm literally just gonna sit down with my hairdresser and be like, what do you think works best with my hair right now? Cause I don't know. Ooh, we'll see. I'm just rambling, but just wanna let you guys know that that is what I'm doing. And yeah, also where is it? I'm not gonna look until I get to the stop sign. But I wanna find it and check it. Oh, here it is. Um, yesterday we went to, um, we talked about a little bit, we went to um, a bookstore in Louisville when we were up there. And I got a book, it's called The Hate You Give. I'm really excited, I've heard a lot of people read it and it's just supposed to be a very strong, powerful book. And I'm super excited. So if you've read The Hate You Give, let me know because um, I just bought it. So I'm gonna start reading it soon. Um, so let me know if you've read it too because it's supposed to be like incredible. So I'm excited. Um, and while we were there, I found this. I don't even know if it's focusing or not, I can't tell. Um, but it's literally the Princess Bride talking book. And if there's anything I'm obsessed with in the world, it's the Princess Bride and miniature things. And this is literally a little tiny miniature Princess Bride book that opens and it has a button here that you push and it literally reads Princess Bride quotes. Bye bye boys. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> bye bye boys. Have fun storming the castle. Love Miracle Max. Um, so that comes in it and then it literally has this like little um, like picture book thing that comes with it too. And it has like so, I don't know where that one is. But it has like a picture from that scene. Oh, here's the one we just heard. So it has like a little picture book and then it has like the quote next to it. It's so cute! I'm obsessed with it. So it's just kind of like, um, you mock my pain. Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is saying something. Um, gosh, like literally I love every, like, I don't think I could be more obsessed with anything than I am with The Princess Bride. And y'all think I'm obsessed with Peter Pan? No, no. The Princess Bride reigns above all. So, if that gives you a look into my obsession with it, that is it. Um, I love it so, 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 so much. I can almost, like quite literally quote the whole thing from start to finish. It was my mom's like favorite movie when she was 16 years old. The first thing she listened to was like a cassette tape in her car of The Princess Bride. She like went out and bought it and listened to the movie soundtrack in her car. Um, which just makes the most sense in the world because it's literally the most, one of the most beautiful soundtracks of all time. The music is phenomenal. Um, and so like we all, she always tells me that story and everything. And so I just grew up loving it because it was my mom's favorite movie. Um, but then literally the other day she was cleaning out her closet and she found the cassette tape of The Princess Bride. And I was like, you have to keep that forever and I will want it to hold on to for the rest of my life. That is just like the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, so I was so excited about that little purchase. It's like so dinky and weird, but I just thought that was fun. So I just wanted to show you guys. You guys will not care, but I love it. That's it for me right now. I will probably show you guys again, unless something I think of something exciting, um, but probably right before I go in to get my hair done. So, see you cats in a second. Okay, fam. It's just funny, because now my hair looks so dark. I just got here, but this is my current hair. It looks so dark right now, so I'm sure as soon as I actually get it done, it's not gonna look dark. Why does it look so dark right now? I don't know. But it's just very lightened. Okay, it looks a little bit lighter over here. Just lightened, so. This is it. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know what is gonna come out of here today. We'll see. 
Okay. This is it. See y'all on the flip side. <laughs> ah! Okay, fam, here we are. <sighs> okay, and now it looks like it's so hard to see. You can kind of see it in the light a little bit. So it's like a very chocolatey brown, and I love it. I love it. Oh, it feels so good. This looks, I'd like try to send a picture and take it, or try to take a picture and send it to my mom, and it kind of just like looks like my normal hair color. But this shows it a little bit better. It's like, it's pretty chocolate brown, and I love it. It feels so dark and fun. Yay! I'm excited. I like this way better than I was expecting to. I was kind of nervous, but yay, 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 yay! It's good. A plus, A plus on the hair. Um, but I'm, oh, and I cut like three inches off of it. Um, and it's still incredibly long. <laughs> but it's like good, healthy ends now, which is fun. Um, but yeah okay so i'm not exactly sure where i'm going or what i'm doing but i'm doing something Ooh, wow intense <laughs> light rays right there but yeah i will keep you guys updated on what i'm doing and where i'm going i might go to the mall i don't know why i have absolutely nothing to buy but i'm in lexington so i just figured might as well you know why not um, but yeah, that's it. I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. See ya! Okay, so I decided to come to Target. Sorry, you literally cannot see me. The sun is directly behind my head. Um, because I need to get more shampoo and conditioner anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna buy that here and then who knows what else I'll find at Target. So we'll see. <laughs> This is the kind of 90s style that is back that I'm not here for. With these little spaghetti strap dresses. Mm, no thank you. I did find some jean jackets. Okay, so here's my hair in this light. You can kind of get a better idea of it. It looks a little bit darker. For some reason, anytime time I take a picture of it, you can't really see like the chocolatey brownness of it. But there it is. And I found a super cute sweater. It's like dark olive green. With these fun little polka dots on it. And I'm getting a jean jacket. Oops. <laughs> um, I tried on a lot of things though and I'm not getting any of it. So I'm proud of myself. Also, I forget how incredibly uncomfortable it is to vlog in public places. I just can't do it. It makes me... Okay, the sun is literally beaming straight into my eyes. I cannot see anything. I just checked the road though before I started filming, so I am responsible. <laughs> um, okay, so I just got a couple little things at Target. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> um, let me transition into my car. One second. This looks like I have sunglasses or like a ski mask on or like the Incredibles mask. It's cut like right above my nose. <laughs> oh well. I got some things for wrapping Christmas presents. So my staff little like Secret Santa thing is tomorrow. And so I needed to get um, a present to, or I needed to get stuff to wrap up my present for my person. Um, so I got some things like that. I got some new shampoo and conditioner because I needed that anyway. And then I got some fun, dark, dry shampoo because I have dark hair now and I need it to be not covered in baby powder when I put dry shampoo in my hair. I might go to Blaze. Maybe I'll do that, honestly. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So we have this place now in Lexington it's called the Summit at Fritz Farm. And it's like this bougie, bougie little outdoor mall sort of kind of type thing. Um, 
My door is definitely not closed all the way. <laughs> That's horrifying. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a little like outdoor mall sort of type deal. And it has like a whole bunch of restaurants and just like yummy good stuff in there. And they have a Blaze there. And I'm honestly kind of feeling Blaze right now and I haven't had it since Orlando. So, I think I'm gonna eat Blaze. Just gonna go hang out and chill by myself and eat. Before I left for Florida, I hated doing anything alone. Like, it made me so uncomfortable. Even like to be shopping by myself, like I just didn't like to do anything alone. And I would have never dared go in a restaurant and sit down and eat by myself. Like, oh my gosh, no way. Um, and it's just funny now because once I moved to Orlando, I literally began to love doing things by myself. Like, I literally would go to movies by myself. I ate by myself all the time in restaurants. Like, I loved it. And I think it's just because you're constantly surrounded by people when you're in Orlando. Like, it's just constant. Like, you go to work and you literally interact with hundreds of thousands of people every day. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's just insane. You're constantly around people and then you go home and you're in an apartment with six other people, which of course they're my favorite people in the world to be with. Sorry, you can see my fox shadow on my cheek. Ignore that. Um, they were literally my favorite people to be with in the world, but still it was like there's just no alone time. Like it was never just like, hey, this is me and my time to do what I want. It was just like constantly people. And so any time that I could escape from that, I did and I loved it. It was like the best thing ever. And so now it's like being home, it's funny because I love to do things by myself now. Um, it's just nice. So I'm gonna go sit down and eat Blaze Pizza by myself and I'm gonna love it and enjoy every second of it. It's gonna be so good. Oh, I haven't had it in so long. I'm excited. That's just very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, my eyes. I can see. Okay, okay. Okay, that person was going. Don't honk at me. What do we do, run right into them? No. These people are crazy over here. What is going on? Gotta back up and re-back up. Okay, we are finally. This car was like per perked. <laughs> this car was parked parked like just close enough to me that I was nervous to turn into here. Okay, so we're parked and I'm going into Blaze because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, Ed Sheeran is playing very loudly in here, so I'm gonna have to talk close to the camera, but I don't even think it's gonna help. I might not even be able to use this one. Um, but I'm literally so excited. Just the smell of this place makes me so happy. And I'm currently waiting for them to call my name. But Ed Sheeran is blaring in here. Oh, there she is in all her beauty. Wow, I'm so excited. Also, Katy Perry is now playing. And I walked in and Katy Perry was playing. So I'm a little concerned that they're playing such old music. But it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay, just wanted to send an update. I'm finished with my pizza, but now they're playing Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. So that's interesting. And I'm also catching up on Shelby's vlogs because I haven't watched them in a couple days. <laughs> Hey Madeline, what's up girl? <laughs> okay, well I was gonna wait for Shelby's face to pop up, but it isn't, so. Oh well, Madeline was there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it, I'm about to, oh there's Shelby, throwing basketballs. Hey girl, it's like we're in person together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw everything away now and head out. And I guess go home. It's like, it was like a very warm, not 
like hot but like for the middle of winter it was a very warm day today and now the sun's gone down i'm like i'm shivering i like had my not like ac on but i had it in the middle of hot and cold because it was like too hot to have heat on today Whew. but now i'm chilly Okay. Oh, I am. I kind of look like the ring girl. Uh, or the grudge. Is that the grudge? I don't know. I literally was just doing that and these two girls walked right by. Ooh. Okay. On that note, let's get out of here, friends. Okay, there's the car. I can't see around this big old Range Rover. Huh. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Okay. Alright, friends. <sighs> we made it. Okay, I'm just going to show you real quick because I'm at a stop sign. But it's like, look how bougie this place is. There's literally like a giant Whole Foods right there. And it goes on like for days back here. Like it's so nice, but it's just like the bougiest thing you've ever seen. There's literally a Brooks Brothers right there. <laughs> like who are we? There's apartment complexes and everything back here and they are literally so expensive. It's insane. Like I'm sure they're nice, but uh, ain't nobody trying to pay that much money to live. <laughs> At least I know I'm not. Anyway, so. Um, I think my door isn't shut again. What the heck? My door must be broken. Or I'm vlogging, which is probably why I'm not focused on it. No, that was scary, but the light just turned green. Okay, um, I'm gonna probably, whoa, sir. They just darted across like four lanes of traffic. Okay, I'm going to uh, be blinded by the sun. Put this camera away and turn some tunes on and sing my little heart out on the way back home. So that'd be fun. This is my favorite song from the Waitress you know soundtrack. Funny? My sister is like obsessed with Waitress and she and my mom saw it when they were in New York and now I've like been sucked into it and it's, the music is so good but I want to see it in person so bad. Thank you. What? Oh my god. No, 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 no. She was a waitress at a shop. And Sarah Bareilles who wrote this musical is performing as Jenna um, for the month of January. Oh. And so me and Maggie really want to go see her with mom. Somebody did, right? So I'm hoping that that actually works because that would be Baby. amazing. That reminds me of the thing we would say. Me and my mama in the kitchen when we bake. She say, Jenna, you can tell a whole story with a taste. Yeah. Okay, y'all, literally no joke. I had to come back here for a second. The car in front of me's license plate. Which is weird. I feel weird talking about license plate because literally if you like take a picture of a car and their license plate is in the back and like in the shot, you like blur it out or cover it up or something. But when they have like ridiculous license plate, people post pictures of them all the time, but it's still like their license plate number. So it's kind of weird that people post them still. Whatever. Um, the one in front of me literally right now <laughs> says physics but like f-i-z-i-k-s <laughs> physics that is literally their license <laughs> what that's it just wanted to share <laughs> okay <laughs> and literally um the man i've been sitting next to in the stoplight this whole time straight up right beside me is eating out of a to-go box <laughs> with a fork 
what is with these people today? His hands are not on the wheel. Like, I'm about to call the police on him. He is eating a to-go box with a fork. He is holding the to-go box in one hand and eating with a fork in the other hand. What is happening? I, like, do not want to drive next to him. I'm scared. I thought he was just doing it at the, drive, at the stoplight, but he's literally driving, eating like that. driving next to him. I'm spooked. He is making questionable decisions. Okay, that's it. I'll keep you all updated if I run into any more interesting characters. Okay, the lighting is finally not psychotically crazy. Um, but I just want to come on real quick because literally the sunset is beautiful right now. And I know it's like you can't see it because it's that direction and I'm not picking my camera up to vlog. But it's so pretty and I just am constantly reminded of how much I love Kentucky and why it's the most beautiful place in the world. Also concerned because there's a part where I'm coming back from Lexington where you're kind of just like on this one way road for a long time and you're traveling through these little like rock structures that you can kind of see to my left probably. Um, So it's like, it's literally just like a one lane on our side and then one lane on the other. And guess who I got stuck behind? To go box man. So that's great. Super pumped for that. I'm almost home though. So even if he crashes into me because he's eating something with a fork in the middle of his car, I'm at least close to the hospital and all my family that I love. <laughs> so pray for me on this little trip. <laughs> Okay, I just got home, so I'm walking into my house, and I want you all to meet our cat, who is not our cat, but she's huge, look at her. Hi, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. She's literally like a lion, and she doesn't even look this big. Like, look how long she is. Cleo. Like, look how big she is. Like, her head is as big as my hand. Hi, girly. She has these, like, the most beautiful green eyes in the world. But we think she's our neighbor's cat. We're not totally sure, but she just, like, hangs out over here all the time. She just, like, sits on our front porch constantly. I don't know. We just named her Cleo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my dad was home. It kind of surprised me. But apparently Mickey destroyed the toilet paper in the bathroom. So, looks like he's in his terrible two phase of being alive <laughs> um is this for me? yes it is look at how cute these are i don't know where to set you there we go <laughs> yeah. mickey you are bad oh don't pop up over here acting like you're all good and cute and precious look at him you're a stinker you are a little stinker. I cannot believe you did that. I'm so excited. So box lunch gifts. What do you want, you little turd? You're being bad today. Box lunch gift released a enamel pin set of the Lost Boys. Look how cute. And there's Slightly right there. I am dying. They have a little sheet of paper on them right now so the glare is really bad but I'm literally so excited I'm gonna add these to my collection even though they're not Disney pins and I like made a pretty strong point to not collect pins um, that weren't actually Disney pins but these were just too perfect not to I had to do it so I am sufficiently obsessed with these so cute okay um and then there's another package for me over here, but I don't know what it is. I ordered a, um, I don't know what this is. Did they send me another shirt? Um, when I was, <laughs> that is awful. When I was in Orlando, I ordered a shirt. Uh-oh. Um, I ordered this shirt 
for the Christmas party from Great Adventure Supply Co. It's literally so funny. And they're one of my favorite shirt companies. I just think they're awesome. Come on up here. Um, I just think they're so cool. They make really cool designs. And they were literally the sweetest ever. And like hand delivered this shirt to my hotel when I was in Orlando so that I could wear it to the Christmas party. Um, but they had like just been out of town so they weren't able to get it there before the Christmas party but they literally delivered it to my hotel. Um, and I guess they forgot that they had already given me one. <sighs> Buddy, chill out. I guess they forgot that they had already given me one because they literally just sent me one in the mail too. Hmm. So I will message them on Instagram and see what they want me to do. I mean, it's such a freaking hilariously cute shirt, so I love it, but I already have one. I don't need another one. Um, so yeah, I'll message them and see what they say about that. Um, yeah, okay. Here's Mickey being a little turd today. What is your deal? Why is your deal today, little buddy? You're being nuts. He does not like the camera in front of him. He's like, get it away from me. <laughs> Hi, boy. You dingus. Um, yeah. Well, that's fun little surprises in the mail. So, I'm probably going to... I still have a little bit of my day left, and I'll hang out with Jack and stuff, but um, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this vlog... I think so that I can go ahead and wrap my present for the staff Christmas thing tomorrow and go ahead and try and get this up and edited before Jack gets home and off work so that I can just hang out with him and not have to think about putting a video up. So yeah, that's it for me and little Mickey who's now laying down on me. This is a pretty exciting day. New hair, deliveries, Blaze Pizza. Wow, good times. Um, yeah, so that's it for me. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.